Uh, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on over here? Okay, what's going on over here? You just said, I don't see any teachers around, and then you were like looking side to side. It's Zhang. Of course it's Zhang. Why would it not be Zhang? Good morning, everyone. Day from the wee hours here. Welcome to Let's School, or really, I should say, welcome back to Let's School. We did the demo of this ages ago on the channel and had a good time with that. I really enjoyed it, and I was looking forward to its release, and here it is. Let's School is out. We can go ahead and start our little school builder here and possibly educate some people, maybe make a little money, and deal with all the kitties that are in the game because there are totally kitties in the game. Now, the tough choice is between career or sandbox mode. Normally, I go sandbox mode. The problem is, I did the demo of this ages ago. I legitimately don't remember how to play this game, and I'm certainly not going to go back and watch my own video. That would be absurd. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to start with career mode and hope there's some kind of tutorial in there, and we'll see how we feel about it. Maybe we'll switch over at some point to sandbox, but let's just check out some Let's School. And in the tradition of virtually every game ever created, we are starting out by being told that somebody is not doing a thing anymore, and now we have to do the thing. So we were given a letter from the old headmaster saying, here you go, you're in charge of a school now. I only wish it worked that well in the real world. Why doesn't the CEO of some huge company just write me a letter and say, I'm retiring, you're in charge of my huge company now. Let me just um, mix this up a little bit here. Well, don't mind that. That's all right. I might be sold just on- you know what, I'm sold just on that. Well, unfortunately, we don't have enough characters for Dave's awesome school, so it's just this is awesome school. Now, the important part is, what are the kids gonna wear? Let me just start flipping this around a little bit. Oh, no, that's- that's way too normal. Eh, that's better. Actually, that looks like what I used to wear in school. How about- no, 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 uh, better. Better. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Show me some emblems here. What is this, a duck? I think it's a duck. I don't know if I'm a duck kind of school. What is that? I'm not sure. It might be some sort of Roman statue thing going on there. Uh, that's just a bunch of people. The uh, the palette, not as much really, no. Uh, I don't know what this is, so that's what we're going to do right now. Now, let's get some outlines going on here. Oh, yeah, there we go. I don't know what it is even more than I used to. That's the one. That's the one. That vaguely looks like some sort of weird Illuminati symbol. So hopefully there are some suspicious activities going on in the school. If I have my way, there definitely will be. So Miss Lynn has popped up, and she's our assistant here, and she gave us some very knowledgeable advice about camera controls, but now we've actually got some goals here. We must admit students from all communities and satisfy their needs, and have them attend classes. That is kind of the point of school, and they're going to gain knowledge points. Throughout the week, teach the students so they can pass the exam for their preferred course types. And when they pass the exam, we gain contribution points which can improve the school. Okay, so far so good. You can increase the school level by renovating, admitting new students, and more. Please gain a higher score up to the level of the school. Let's aim to be the best. <laughs> oh, you've never seen this channel before, have you, game? Well, the fabulously named Brick Johnson has just shown up and told us all about demolition. Good man. All right, demolish that. And, oh, I accidentally demolished that, but demolish that too. Okay, clean up abandoned facilities. We're working on that. Let's build a classroom. Students should have their own classes and seats. Okay, build one classroom, satisfy all the furniture stuff, put the furniture in there, put more furniture in there. This seems to be a largely furniture-based issue here. So go to the build mode, facility. Okay, so what else have we got besides classroom? Management, research, two bathrooms, a tea room, and my office. Hey, Brick? Brick, man, just as a heads up, um, why are we not building my office first? Okay, I am in charge of stuff, and I'm pretty sure I'm signing your paycheck, man. A classroom it is. Okay. Minimum size of 20 squares. All right, let's see if we can accommodate that. Should also probably clean up the rest of that other stuff, too. So, uh, sure, that, how about... How about we make it a little bit bigger, because, you know, we know how these things are going to go. I'm never going to have enough room. Go ahead and do that. And do a door right there. That's fine. All right. So blackboard podium. And I think it said six desks, if I'm not mistaken. All right. What could we do with this information here? So a shabby blackboard. Fabulous. Good. Starting out right there. That could go right over there. And a shabby podium. 
Okay, we're not exactly aiming for the stars here, are we? How about we put that guy... Um, actually, where do we want that? Okay, ah, oh, wait, so it's got like a, a... A vision range here, where the teaching will happen, I assume. Well, I've really boned myself, haven't I? I just, um, haven't left enough room for anything at all. Okay, can I move this? Can I, can I bring this? Yeah, I can. Okay, I can just drag it somewhere else. Okay, put it over there then. And then a bunch of desks, which are also, indeed, shabby. I don't know, how much is pathing going to be an issue here? How about we put, like, one, two, three, one, two, three. I don't know if the students are going to actually be able to get into their desks. Uh, but let's put up a coat rack anyway, you know, for the kids. How about we put that guy right there? Okay, I'll be done when I'm done, Brick, all right? Just lay off me here. Ready to recruit some students. I don't think we are, Edison. I really don't think we are. I'm not. I put up one. I don't have an office yet, Edison. I don't have an... I'm not doing anything around here until I get an office. Okay, I was assured of an office. And kitties. Kitties and an office, Edison. Visit the local community to get started. Okay. Oh, wow. We're actually in the local community. I did not see that one coming. I thought we were just going to go to a screen... And click some people. This is where the potential students of our community are gathered. In like a back alley? Are we recruiting gang members? This looks very suspect, Miss Lynn. There are a lot of children in this community who can start in our school. I think they should. They're just roaming the streets. Was there no education before I showed up? Is this the first school that's being built in this town? All right, so we need to establish an admissions office so students may send in their applications. Can they even read and write? Can they send in an application? Uh, view local students. Okay. Uh, Verdon Valley. Right. Gotcha. Okay. All right. What do we got here? Families of this community are quite well off and generous spenders, but they also have standards when it comes to the school environment and offerings. Oh, this is not the right school for them then. I have not decorated this at all yet. I will. But I have not started to decorate this. Establish an admissions office. Wow, there's a lot going on here. I hope you're going to cover all this, Miss Lynn. Establish admissions office. All right. Am I sure I want to do this? Well, yes, because I don't have any other options. So Verdant Valley, nine applications per week. Okay, open. We are open for admissions. Oh, we, we are indeed open for admissions. Okay, uh, get off of this. I don't want any pop-ups right now. So what do we got here? Are you a student that I'm hiring? Or, well, hiring is not really the right, right word. Marina Heaven College of Marketing. Wait, what now? Well, Ms. Lynn is being less than helpful in telling me what the heck I'm looking at here. But from what I can divine, which is limited at best, I'm, I'm getting a type of student who are apparently forgetful, bad memory, and they want to go to Heaven College of Marketing. I guess that's a big thing in this town. Everyone wants to be a marketer. So I'm going to go ahead and... Confirm that. Aha! Here we go. Here's some real students. These are real, well, real, real students, and they're all forgetful. You're generous, though, Pete. I like you already. Gives extra tips when making purchases. Aha! Pete, my man. Um, could you go away? I'm trying to underclick this. Exceptional at video games always carries a gaming console. Okay. Uh, you don't have any traits, and neither do you, Barbara. We're going to get 660 for all of you. For four kids. This is going to be very personalized teaching. All students have been admitted. Time to assign new students to a classroom and pick a homeroom teacher. Well, I've only got the one class. This should be very easy. All right, here we go. No members. This is an easy one. Click to add them. Yes, select all of them. I've only got the four. Homeroom teachers are needed to manage students. Otherwise, the students will have disciplinary issues. Yeah, I've got my eye on Zhang. I don't trust him one bit. Not with that haircut. All right, so homeroom teacher. Ms. Lin or me? Well, I feel it should be me. I should be in charge of this kind of nonsense. I don't have an office. I may as well sit in the classroom. So, um, Ms. Lin, could you, could you make your, your top pop-up go away? No, okay. Your teacher proficiency is terrible. You're just awful. Apparently, you allegedly teach humanities. Okay, you're bad at everything. You're bad at book. You're bad at magnifying glass. And you're bad at glasses. And I'm not sure what the other icon is. You're pretty terrible, but all right, Ms. Lin, you are in. All right, well, according to Ms. Lin, we're getting started here. Um, can we make, uh, okay, click the button to start time, sure. Um, can we make all of this go away? And if I click on that again, does it come back? It does come back. All right, great. Uh, come to the school gates to welcome the new students. Oh, um, sure. 
Hi, where's Zhang? I got my eye on him. All right, so you came in and gave us some money, and you're coming in and giving us some money. I like the way these students are going. Wait, frustrated over bad results? I just opened. They're not even all here yet. Two of the four. I've only got 50% occupancy right now. I hope this awesome school can help us from Verdant Valley to make our dreams come true. Really? Your dream is to be a marketer? That's it? That's as high as you dare to aim? Marketing? Okay, I'll do what I can. Also, in the meantime, can I be, like, tidying some of this stuff up? Uh, like that? Or that? I can get rid of that. Oh, and that's money, too. Yeah, let's just, um, just gonna kind of putter around here while we're doing things. Let's clean all of this up here. Clean that up. Get these cracks out of the wall here. That can go. Um, are we in class? Okay, we are We are technically in class. Miss Lynn's doing her best, but again, she's terrible. Our students are ready to learn. Let's plan out, plan out their brand new life at our school. You okay. Open courses. Right. Are we in pause mode? I really hope we're in pause mode. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? T -t Talk to me. These are the estimated exam results for the students in this class. Okay. They're all going to fail. That's your estimation. They're all going to... What is your problem here? Academics. Four different types of courses. According to their aspirations, different students will need to gain knowledge points in the corresponding course types. Well, they all want to be in marketing. I don't really know what that falls under. Sports, really. So they're getting tested every Friday. And we want to gear the courses towards their goal. Right now, everybody is going to fail. Four students, four failures. And they'll gain knowledge points, and that will get us to contribution points if they pass. After every exam, they're going to go up a year. After three exams, they go to graduation. So they got three years here, then they're out of here. Good. Students who pass the third exam could be accepted by their target institution. Again, Heaven's Marketing College or something like that. Give the school more contribution points. Right. Schedule courses to ensure students are able to achieve the passing mark. All right. Ms. Lynn, let's slow it down a little bit here. Let's slow it down. Okay, let's just let's just focus a little bit, Lynn. Okay, it's been a long time since I did the demo. Select the course you wish to schedule, which is apparently humanities. I had it pegged to sports for marketing. But here we go. What are we doing? Okay, so period one, we're doing humanities. Okay, that has not helped the pass rate. Should I be doing more humanities in period two on Monday? Uh, no, apparently not. Can I not do that? Can I do sports? Can we do sports there? Okay. Okay, we can do health education. Uh, there's nobody to actually teach it, but I could theoretically do that. All right, no, no, you can... can how do I make... There we go. Okay, right-click makes things go away. Good job, game. That's my favorite. Um, do we... Do we want to do this here? Okay. They're getting a teeny tiny bit smarter as they go along here. Okay, not by much. They're destined for failure because, well, they're in my school. Um, I guess it's just nothing but humanities in period one. Well, now what do I do with this? Oh, no, we can just keep it moving here. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work before, but it works great now. So this is nothing but literature. Nothing but lit. It's probably all Ms. Lynn knows. Uh, what's your problem? Why did you Why did you go away? Do I have too many literature courses? Is that, is that what's going on? Can I, can I keep this train rolling here? Yeah, that takes that one away. Huh. I guess there is such a thing as reading too much. No, I can't do it. That's it. That's a, I'm maxed out on literature. Um, well, probably we should, like, have something to do on Thursday and Friday. Okay, so Monday is nothing but literature, just packed. And then the rest of the week, you do a little bit of literature, and then you can just bugger off for the day. Oh, we can do some science, because apparently I can do that. Which is odd, because I'm terrible at those sorts of things. Um, can we do any art? No, it doesn't look like we can do any art. Nope, there's nobody to do art. Okay. Um, no, go away now. Thank you. Well, if we can do some science, let's do some science. It is making them a tiny bit smarter. It's not working towards their thing, but, I mean, they're getting, a, yeah, they're getting a tiny little bit smarter. I'm surprised they're getting anything at all, frankly, because I'm in charge of this. So, if I did, just for giggles, if I did auto, what would that do? That, basically. Okay. Um, if I reset and do auto, no, okay, it does, oh, now I've got to put all this back together. Hang on. Should they be getting some kind of, like, break period for, I don't know, recreation or something? I'm not really sure how kids work. Don't they need some sort of vague rest period during their day? 
Um, can you go there? Okay, we can still keep doing this. Nothing but literature and science. Ah, there we go. We're finally done. And they will they will technically pass their exams. Oh, dear. Don't forget to set up courses after future classrooms are created. This is a terrible schedule. I would hate going to this school. All right, schedule one week of courses. Ah, apparently, I'm not quite done with this. I'm not quite done. Um, how do we? How did we get back to schedule, please? Ah, there it is, courses. Okay. Not quite done with this. Can we get a little bit more in there? Nope. Oh, algebra. Oh, I got nothing on algebra. Oh, you you ain't don't even trust me to teach algebra. That is simply not happening. Not not no. No, I tap no, there's nobody to teach that. Can I hire another teacher? Okay. I've scheduled four courses. I have done that. How about we just kind of get things can we get things moving along here? So I had to set up to get the the weak thing. I had to set up those locked courses and no surprise, it just pops up a thing that says locked courses. New courses that have not been unlocked through research. Okay, are we going to learn about research soon? And also, Ms. Lynn, what are you teaching? Yeah, you get in there. What? what what's your problem? Can you not see? Can, actually, what is your problem? Can you not see? What does that little icon mean? Can you, like, not see the class, the blackboard or something? That might be a factor. Oh, bad lighting. Bad lighting. Okay. Um, hang on, that, that sounds like decoration. Can I do something about that? Furniture? Okay, how about furniture? Uh, there's a light here. No, that's a stone sphere. Not quite the light. Ah, lights, here we go. Got two. An incandescent light and a top lamp. Well, how about a top lamp? Because that could just... How much am I spending on this nonsense? 360, whatever those are. 360 for a lamp. These guys only gave me 165 a piece. Oh, you better just need one lamp. That because that's all you're getting, let me tell you. Okay, is that that's that doesn't seem to be any better. Are you still suffering bad lighting? There's two light there's a big light here, dude. It's literally over your face. It's Zhang, is it? of course it's Zhang. Why would it not be Zhang? Now I'm whining about the lamp price. I've actually got 81,000 of whatever those are. I can probably pop a few. Okay, I will pop a few more lamps in here, kids. All right, that's that's fair. I, I see what you're doing there. Uh, let's put one there, and let's put one over you as well. Okay, yeah, I've still got 80,000 whatever they are is there. Okay, make all of that go away. That's all good, and you can go. All right, so Ms. Lynn is doing her thing here, teaching humanities and literature and whatnot. And later, I'm, I'm, later, I can't even say it with a straight face. I'm going to come in and teach science. Now, in the meantime, while all that's going on, I could keep tidying up around here. This will pay for a few lamps right out of the gate. Get all of this out of here. Anything, no, I, don't, I don't want any of this. I'll put it all together myself. Thank you very much. I might keep those lamps. Nah, you know what? I'll, I'll get rid of everything. Everything's out. Look, I'm, I'm just, I'm making money here. I'm making, I'm up to 82,000 of whatever those are. Get rid of all of this. What is this little building over here? Is that my office? Why am I in the backyard? Ah, right. Okay, so there is a recess period. There is a break period. That's good. Oh, hang on. I need to fix that wall there. All right, fix that. So they do get to go out and do anything at all, really. Don't come into my office, even though it's in the backyard. So you're going to sit over here. You're going to have a little bit of a break, Pete. Generous Pete. I got my eyes on you, let me tell you, or at least on your parents' wallet. Yeah, Generous Pete is over here just kind of chilling, doing a thing. He's quite disciplined. He's 84% disciplined. Wants to be in marketing. Hey, uh, I was going to say who doesn't, but lots of people don't. How about you, Barbara? What do you do? You're 86% disciplined. Uh, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on over here? Okay, what's going on over here? You just said, I don't see any teachers around, and then you were, like, looking side to side. It's Zhang. Of course it's Zhang. Why would it not be Zhang? Uh, you're still 84% disciplined, but I don't trust you. Are you playing craps? Is there a craps game going on in my school? Seriously? This, this is what we get when we recruit gang members. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, they're secretly playing a video game. Okay, can we get somebody... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna come down and put a stop to this nonsense. Actually, it's, it's, it's literally what I do all day. I can't really... Can I, can I, in good conscience, go in and justify disciplining kids for playing a video game when this is literally what I do? All right, well, I've given them a stern talking to. Ms. Sweets, who the heck are you? Wait, our school has a lifestyle consultant? A lifestyle consultant? We have a lifestyle consultant. 
They request a tea room so they can have drinking water. Is a drinking fountain not okay? You gotta have a whole room for this, Miss Sweets. I tell you, Miss Sweets, I've been in school. I've been in school. I didn't do well in algebra, but I've been in school. We had drinking fountains. They were just in the hallway. If you want a drink of water, you just walk down the hall, get a drink of water, go about your business. But no, no, no. Ms. Sweets, the lifestyle consultant, needs a tea room. All right, build and keep the tea room operating. Yes, God help us if the tea room goes down. Uh, what are you? A wooden structure. No, no, I need facilities. There's my tea room right there. Uh, is there a minimum on this? Uh, do we have any like any sort of minimum thing here? I, I don't immediately see it. Oh, there's another thing to demolish over there. Could I get this to live... I'd actually really like to expand a little bit. Hang on, throw it in, slam it into pause mode there for a sec. Can I get this, like here? Like that, and that, and that. Let me see if that flies. I want, I want Brick to come over and, and deal with this for me, please. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's, a, there's an event here. There, somebody's arguing with somebody about something. Brick's building my thing, but I, I've got other things to be dealing with here. Uh, Barbara, you are basically fine. Um, can we... I make all of this go away. I've got to deal with this argument down here. Uh, of course it's Chang. Of course it's Chang. Why wouldn't it be? All right. Um, what are you... Do I have to deal with this? I don't... It doesn't seem like I have to deal with this. They're just having an argument. But I think they just liked each other more. Oh, new job applications have arrived. Okay, hang on. I need brick. Right, all right. Th things are happening very quickly in Dave's awesome school. I need brick to finish doing what he's doing here. Don't, don't sleep in a construction zone, kid. That's not safe. Put a hard hat on, at least. Now, while Brick's finishing that, what's in my inventory? I have a cat egg. Okay, okay, two things. One, yay. Two, that's not how cats work. But that, we're gonna, we're gonna learn to cope with that. Also, I three, I see I actually took the video games off of them. Wow. I'm hardcore. Can I sell them? Cat egg. I, that is not... Not how cats work, but I'm intrigued. Um, we're gonna put a cat egg right there. We've got a kitty! There's a kitty! Muffin the kitty! Oh, yes. Forget the rest of this. We've got Muffin the kitty. That's all I need. Thank you. Alright, Ms. Lynn is back in class here, doing her thing. And are you guys getting better at stuff? You're not super satisfied, but we're not getting the bad lighting thing anymore. So you guys figured out how to turn the lights on. That's good. You're very disciplined. Patricia is super disciplined. Still wants to be in marketing, which is a terrible idea, but super disciplined about it. And you're gaining things. You're gaining little points here as you're going along. Okay, uh, Brick, are you done with my thing? Yeah, you are. All right, right on, man. Appreciate that. Let's get this whole tea room nonsense under control here. So tea room, how about that was like, that's probably way bigger than I actually need, but put it there anyway. All right, uh, well, I've, at least meets the recommended size. That's good. Hot water, hot water, cups, and drinking water. Okay. So, a kettle. I, I just, I feel a drinking fountain would serve the purpose here. A cup rack. Put a couple of those up. Um, just for hygiene purposes. You know, you don't want to be using the same cup that everyone else is using. Put some more of these up. And maybe put up another kettle as well. Okay, there we go. So two cup racks, two kettles, and whatever else it was that I put up there. Oh yeah, these guys are into it. These guys are into it. All right, confirm all of that, please. Tea room is open. Students can quench their thirst. Drinking fountain. Lifestyle consultant? Everyone's got to have a bottle of water just chained to their hip at all times. Everyone's all about hydration. Look, I'm going to go off on a bit of a rant here, but when I was younger... We did not have to have a bottle of water chained to our hip at all times. Just constantly sucking on a bottle of water, desperately worried about our hydration levels. None of us died from dehydration. I am still here, and I didn't need a bottle of water to do it. All right, another break for the kids here, and oh, I am just seeing that we could be demolishing that too. There's some very easy free money. Are you going to go find Muffin the Cat? Because that would be adorable. No, you're just going to sit on the bench over here and probably gossip about each other, because there's precious few other people around here to gossip about. Are you looking for Muffin the Cat? If you find Muffin the Cat, can you let me know where Muffin the Cat is? Because I'm very, very interested in how we grew... There's Muffin! Muffin, how did we grow you out of an egg? Because that's fundamentally not how cats work. Okay, okay, this one's on me, I agree. I did not build toilets, you're right about that. That is a that is a pretty important need, and I'm frankly shocked that I missed it. So let's get that going on. Okay, so facilities, and then uh, the women's room. 
Minimum size 12. Okay, yes, hang on, hang on. I'm doing I'm doing toilets right now. All right, I will I will look at staff training in in the reasonably near future. Uh, throw that into pause mode for me, please. I've got bathrooms to make here. All right, I think right up in here, minimum of 12 tiles. I can get both of these up in here. So let's just do that and that and that. Okay, check that off. I mean, I don't know why I need three stalls. There's only two girls and two boys here. But just in case, let's make this bigger than I actually need it to be. Uh, so then a men's room is going to go like this. Okay, like that. And then you get the same accoutrements in here. So one, two, three. Okay, there's my toilets under construction and done. I should maybe put some lights on or something like that. Now, what is it you want? You want a teacher training thing. Okay, open course. All righty. Increase the teacher's proficiency through training. Okay, so click on Ms. Lynn here. Who are you? Uh, oh, that's me. Sorry, never mind. I didn't recognize myself. Um, yeah, your pop-up is way down here. I, I can't can't actually read much of that. Thank God the first word is training. Okay, change change T is all I've got there. Change T. I'll let Penge at the Geek Cupboard know there is an option to change T. So I could get her better in teaching, management, or research. Well, obviously teaching, because she is basically my only teacher apart from myself. So yes, confirm that, please. We've assigned you to training. Now, do you go off and... Apparently you don't go off and do that. You're just gradually getting better. Training has started, and their proficiency will increase. Okay, slam it into pause mode before I get another thing going on here. Let me see what I've done so far here. We've got the all-important tea room, and then we've got a single classroom with four students and two bathrooms, which is more than they actually need. I think one unisex bathroom would get the job done here, but apparently not. Somewhere around here, there, is that muffin? Yep. Yeah. Somewhere around here is a cat I've grown from an egg. My office is in the backyard, but I think things are going broadly well, so I think that's where we'll call it on Let's School for Now. We're going to come back to this. I want to see a little more of this. I like, it's cute, it's weird. There's something fundamentally disturbing about it, and I like every bit of it so far. So I think we're going to come back to some more of Let's School. Guys, in the comments, do please let me know what you're thinking of this. Let me know what you're thinking of Let's School. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth, all right? None of this manby-pamby kumbaya nonsense, all right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire. And uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there.